For this demo, we're going to look at using the menus, the three menus that are in the items menu. The first one is a lineal meter item, and it's used for getting lineal meter quantities of anything that, um, for example, fascia board, skirting, bearers, joists, fencing, anything that needs a lineal meter dimension. You can use this item menu here. Simply click on it, give the item an abbreviation, fascia board, select the material, go into our timber, softwood, I have one in there, double click it, and you can change the colour, flex it a bit more, change the menu out of the way, and we just click at the start and draw a line to the end and it will tally up total lineal meters of the pressure board. Individual lengths and total lineal meters. What we do now is save it open up our takeoff list and it's that's where it is stored until we're ready to export it. The next menu we'll look at is a square meter polygon shape and it's used to get the square area of um, items such as the slab or the turf around the building um, it can be the, the roof area or the, the wall cladding um, you could even use it to determine how much area you need to excavate on a on a site. If you need it, this cubic meters, you just multiply it by the depth. To use this menu, it's a little bit different. We click on points instead of drawing lines. So I'll select it, and I'll give it a, a call it slab. Select the material. It's concrete, uh, domestic slab, 100 mil F72 mesh. And I might change the colour to light green. Pop the, the window out of the way. And then just click on the corners. When we get back to where we started, we click again and it'll highlight the, the area with that colour and give us the total square metres and also the perimeter lengths around it. So total around there is 71.6 and the square area is 246. If you needed the cubes, you just multiply that by 100 mil. We'll just save that. Have a look at our takeoff list again. Put the slab and the total perimeter. As you can see it's a little less than the fascia which seems correct. The last item we'll look at is the, the count, the item count and this is also done a little bit different so we'll select it um, and this will do internal, internal door, select our material doors, internal, 820 internals, and let's move that out of the way, and then we just need to click where the door is, and drop the text in a clear spot somewhere, so 920, that's all our 820 internal doors. We have another one here. So here we have a total of six. We'll just save that. Look at our takeoff list again. You can see we have it all in there. And that is the end of this demonstration.